Just over two weeks away from the anniversary of the 1967 Detroit riots. For weeks now, we've been looking back so we can look forward with a series of stories focusing on the progress made and the work still being done in the city. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn is here right now with how the violence in the streets impacted the arts and most specifically what we're known for here, Motown. Yeah, mood music, exactly yes. right, Stephen, uh, Glenda. Motown was still cranking out the hits in 1967, but five years after the riots, founder Barry Gordy made the difficult decision to move the music west to Los Angeles. <laughs> For Temptations fans an unmistakable beginning to a classic song. The opening notes and chords from guitarist Dennis Coffey on Just My Imagination was one of his many contributions as a member of the Funk Brothers. The rhythm section backs so many of Motown's monster hits of the 1960s and early 70s. I look at the Funk Brothers as the best studio band in the world, uh, and you can judge that by the amount of hit records that we did. And we usually did three songs every three hours and made them hit records. Not surprisingly, Dennis Coffey was inside a recording studio on Detroit's west side in July of 1967 as the city started burning. We got one of our guys to go stand outside the studio and watch the flames while we finished the session, hoping that they weren't moving that fast and we could get done. So the guys watching the flames and it was creeping up and creeping up and we got our tapes, finished the session and we got out of there. Now 76, Dennis Coffey has never stopped working and performing in Detroit. Things have changed, but now they're changing back the other way. Uh, did that event create that and may have, but uh, that is uh, such a complex issue, I don't think it's a simple answer. Ken Coleman is a historian who chronicles black life in Detroit. And this is uh, Hitsville, USA, is only about a half mile away from the epicenter of the 67 Rebellion, 12th Street and Claremont. We met outside the Motown Museum to discuss the impact of the rebellion on the arts in Detroit and specifically music, which was an important part of the curriculum in the Detroit public schools throughout the 40s, 50s, and 60s. You can talk about the, a number of Motown artists that, that grew up in Detroit, attended Detroit public schools, and got a chance to play an instrument or to, to sing uh, in a vocal choir. Uh, those programs, again, were robust. Diana Ross at Cass and Smokey Robinson and uh, Aretha Franklin at Northern. All types of artists come out of Northwestern High School. They grew up in this neighborhood. The neighborhood changed after the riots, and so too did some of the music coming out of Motown. At 67, Rebellion, I think, influenced people like Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder and others uh, to write music that might at the time been called protest music, but it was a response to the environment um, that had, that really had uh, its foot on their neck for many years. A number of those songs uh, definitely more reflective of the times and while a different sound than the earlier Motown hits, this music also resonated with the audience. One of the things Ken Coleman mentioned about the robust music programs in the Detroit Public Schools during that time leading up, sadly, that's gone today and uh, it's, it's a huge loss for our city and for the young people growing up here. Well, there are neighborhoods, there are buildings that didn't survive, and here we are 50 years later, but the music has lived on. It's it amazing. sure has. Yeah. All right, Dave, thank you so much. I'll just see the label come back.